Hey y'all, it's Tanya and Dave from Turn It Up World, your Las Vegas gurus, and we're back for another Las Vegas update. Now, so many of you have told us you really enjoy these updates from us, so guess what? We're gonna keep bringing them to you. Dave and I wanna quickly say thank you all so much for the tremendous support you've shown this channel. We are so close to hitting our 100,000 subscriber goal. So if you enjoy our content and haven't hit the subscribe button already, take a second to do so. December in Las Vegas is a wonderful time to visit, especially for the holidays and New Year's with the incredible fireworks displays on the Las Vegas Strip and downtown. But I will tell you this, I'm talking high temperatures in Las Vegas, about 60 degrees, average low is 27 degrees, so you'll thank me. It gets very cold in December, especially after the sun goes down, so make sure you bring layers and a jacket. Before we jump into Las Vegas holiday and New Year's activities, let's first discuss some recent Las Vegas updates and news. First up, the NFR, or the National Finals Rodeo, returns to the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas December 1st through the 10th. Now, the NFR will feature the top 119 contestants in the world for a 10-day competition to determine the winners of the coveted PRCA gold buckle and a share of the $10.257 million purse. Now, we've talked about this in previous updates, but the Las Vegas Grand Prix Formula One tickets are now on sale, and they're not cheap. General admission and standing room only tickets its prices are $500 for the three-day event with grandstand seats starting at $2,000. As of the filming of this video, there are no single day tickets available to purchase, only three day passes. And unfortunately, as fast as those tickets went on sale, they're gone. You might get lucky finding tickets on StubHub or other resale sites, but expect to pay multiple times face value. Or you can get them through casino as part of a package deal that they offer their casino customers. Now we have heard according to F1, they're gonna be releasing more packages in the upcoming months. So definitely keep a lookout on their websites and follow along their social media for when those tickets will be released. Guess who's coming to Allegiant Stadium in March 2023? Taylor Swift. And she's going to be performing at Allegiant Stadium on March 25th, 2023. Now, ticket prices have not yet been disclosed. Kevin Hart has announced that he will be performing at Resorts World on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Now, the November shows a reality check will be taped for a new comedy special and will be a phone-free experience. Tickets are on sale now and start at about $89. So what is this so-called phone-free experience? Well, it means that the use of phones and smartwatches during the show will be prohibited and will actually have to be secured in a locked Yonder pouch before entering the performance area. So what's a Yonder pouch? According to Yonder's How It Works page, fans receive a pouch that locks when it is closed. In order to gain access to their phones, guests will tap the pouch on a device as they exit to unlock their devices. This pouch has room to fit smartphones and smartwatches. The planned new Tillman Fertitta Resort and Casino on the southeast corner of the Strip and Harmon has been approved by the Clark County Commissioners. Now, as previously announced, Tillman Fertitta, who also owns the Golden Nugget, plans to build a 43-story, 2,420-room resort and casino at the southeast corner of the Strip and Harmon. Now, according to the developer, the project is expected to be completed over the next two years and has now received county approval. The Museum of Illusions has announced plans to open at 63 Las Vegas, the name of the new retail complex being built between between the Cosmo and the Crystal Shops. It will be about 15,000 square feet and is expected to open in early spring. Now, the Museum of Illusions is described as interactive and immersive and an exciting place for all generations, helping you perceive why your eyes see things that your brain cannot understand. There's a new bakery at Caesars Palace and it's called Dominique Ansel Las Vegas. The award-winning chef Dominique Ansel opened the famous Dominique Ansel Bakery in the lower Manhattan Soho neighborhood where he invented the Cronut, which is a cross between a croissant and a donut. Now he's bringing the Cronut to Las Vegas. Brewdog Pub will open on December 2nd on the south end of the Strip on top of Showcase Mall. The pub will encompass 30,000 square feet and include a rooftop bar with strip views. And according to Brewdog, they will have 96 beers on tap. The bar will also offer lobster, steaks, burgers, and also a deep fried Mars bar, a Scottish favorite. Looking for another fun arcade? Well, arcade Arcade has opened at Bally's next to the food court. Arcade is a 7,000 square foot room that has 80 games, including many classics. All the machines are cashless. Chris Angel's La Mystica at Paris has closed. La Mystica actually did not include Chris Angel in the show, unlike his popular mind freak at Planet Hollywood. Now wait a minute, the all-net resorts and arena appears to be moving forward? 
the long-delayed non-casino resort and arena planned next to Fountain Blue has apparently received new funding. The project is supposed to cost $4.9 billion and would include a sports arena with a retractable roof, two hotels, and a convention center. The developers plan to complete the project by the end of 2025, and the developers have announced that they will provide funding for the redevelopment of the historic Moulin Rouge. The new M Resort Tower will begin construction by this time next year and be completed in 2025, according to owners Penn Entertainment. As previously announced, the new M Resort Tower is expected to cost $206 million and include 384 rooms and a 15,000 square foot ballroom. A special All Elvis Legends and Concert show named Back in the Building has opened at Tropicana and will run through the end of 2022. The shows are at 7.30 p.m. Wednesdays through Monday with tickets starting at about $60. The girl and I liked it. Katy Perry has announced her 2023 residency dates at Resorts World. She is back again. She loves her some Resorts World. Katy Perry will perform 14 shows at Resorts World beginning in February and running through April. Bruno Mars, who will be performing at Dolby Live at Park MGM New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, has announced 10 new shows in January and February 2023 at Dolby Live. Tickets are on sale now and start at about $100. Bullfighters Only, or BFO, World Championships will be at Resorts World from December 2nd through the 10th. In addition to NFR, the world's best bullfighters take on the most fierce fighting bulls for over $100,000 in cash and an ultimate prize, the title of the BFO World Championship. The legendary Smokey Robinson is coming to Las Vegas for two shows in April 2023. The man is currently 82 years old and ready to rock it as he announced two performances at the Venetian Theater on April 14th and 15th. Tickets are on sale now and start at about $50. Jerry Seinfeld has announced six shows at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. The shows will begin in April and run through July 2023. They take place April 14th and 15th, June 9th and 10th, and July 28th and 29th. Tickets are on sale now and start at about $89. There's this classic rock band named Chicago that plans to perform at the Venetian in 2023. Chicago will perform eight shows at the Venetian Theater in February and March of 2023. Tickets are on sale now and start at about $50. So the Las Vegas Convention Center is hoping to have the Boring Company's Las Vegas Loop operational for the Super Bowl in 2024 at Allegiant Stadium. According to the Las Vegas Review Journal, they recently reported that they are still working to get the Las Vegas Loop operational by February 11th, 2024 for the Super Bowl. When complete, the Las Vegas Loop is expected to include a total of 55 stations from downtown to the Las Vegas Strip, Allegiant Stadium, and also the airport. The new owners of the Venetian, Apollo Funds, plans to invest $1 billion into renovations and additions at the Venetian and Palazzo. According to the company, they will renovate all the suites, casino floor, and the Palazzo pool, among other enhancements. A new pickleball restaurant and bar is coming to Henderson. It's called Chicken and Pickle, and it plans to open in Henderson in late 2023. The complex includes a three-acre multi-level indoor-outdoor complex with 11 pickleball courts and additional outdoor games such as cornhole, shuffleboard, and bocce ball. The restaurant will, of course, specialize in different varieties of chicken such as wings, strips, and barbecue. If you're coming to Las Vegas in December for the holidays or New Year's, here's some fun activities you can check out. You cannot come to Las Vegas without checking out the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and experience their holiday exhibit. On November 19th, the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens were transformed with holiday decorations. In prior years, the exhibit featured the Coca-Cola polar bears as well. And this is free. So do not miss out on one of the most incredible, whimsical free exhibits here in Las Vegas. Visit the new Enchant on the Strip at Resorts World. Enchant, producers of the world's largest Christmas light experience and Resorts World Las Vegas, the Strip's newest resort, announced plans to brighten the holiday this season in Las Vegas with over 4 million outdoor lights, bringing a special edition of America's fastest growing live holiday event to Las Vegas Boulevard for the first time billed as Enchant on the Strip. 
The event opens on Saturday, November 19th, and will continue operation through January 1st. The spectacle will span over 10 acres, more than three football fields across the resort's world's Las Vegas property. Now, in addition to featuring a one-of-a-kind immersive walk-through light maze experience and a 100-foot-tall holiday tree, they will also include ice skating, live entertainment, Santa visits, interactive games, and a holiday marketplace featuring local artisans. Specialty cocktails and culinary offerings will also be available from the array of Resorts World restaurants. Now, tickets are on sale now and start at $44 for adults and $23 for children. The event opens weekdays at 4.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. on weekends. And special announcement, dun 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 dun! Enchant Las Vegas has selected Dave and myself to be ambassadors for this year's Enchant Las Vegas at Resorts World, which means we are gonna be there November 19th for the kickoff. So if you see us out there, come say hi, let's grab a hot cocoa and maybe an ice skate session together. We hope to see you there. Head to the Cosmo Boulevard pool area and ice skate with views of the Las Vegas Strip. On November 15th, the Cosmo will transform its Boulevard pool area into a winter wonderland and ice skating rink. In addition to the skating rink, you can enjoy s'mores and other treats next to fire pits. While it's free to enter the area, ice skating will cost about $30 for an all-day skating pass. The hours will be from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. weekdays and noon to 11 p.m. on weekends up until December 18th. Then noon to 11 p.m. daily through January 2nd. Don't forget to head over and explore the decorations and shows at the Link Promenade. So the Link Promenade gets all festive in December with holiday fun, decorations, and entertainment. So make sure you don't miss the Link Outdoor Lights and Music Show, including the beautiful Christmas tree and lights on the high roller. The glittering lights at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway is Nevada's largest drive through light show and includes approximately 2.5 miles of lights. It's an annual event that benefits local charities and well worth a visit. Admission starts at about $29 per vehicle and opens daily 4.45 to 9 p.m. weekdays, 10 p.m. weekends. New Year's Eve in Las Vegas rocks. Both the Las Vegas Strip and downtown, always a great time with amazing fireworks shows to ring in the new year. You know what? Let's ring out the old and ring in the new the Las Vegas way. Las Vegas New Year's Eve is always packed on the Vegas Strip and downtown and don't expect this year to be any different. On New Year's Eve, the Las Vegas Strip will be closed down to traffic beginning around 6 p.m. You know, it's one of the only times during the year that pedestrians can simply walk down the middle of the Strip. It's a lot of fun. Just make sure you dress warmly because it can get pretty cold in Las Vegas at this time of the year, especially when the sun goes down. Now, for those of you that enjoy concerts like Dave and I do, well, there's some concerts you can check out here in December. You got Barry Manilow December 1st to the 10th at Westgate, George Strait December 2nd and 3rd at T-Mobile, Rod Wave December 16th at T-Mobile, Luke Bryan still crushing it December 2nd, 3rd, 7th, 9th, and 10th at Resorts World, The Illusionist and Magician David Blaine December 16th and 17th at Resorts World, Aerosmith December 2nd, 2nd, 5th, 8th, and 11th at Park MGM. Adele with eight December shows beginning on December 2nd through December 24th at Caesars Palace. Andrea Bocelli, December 3rd at MGM Grand. Bruno Mars, December 30th and 31st at Park MGM. You got Miranda Lambert, December 3rd, 4th, 8th, 10th and 11th at Planet Hollywood. ZZ Top, December 3rd, 4th, 7th, 9th, and 10th at Venetian. Social Distortion, December 15th, 16th, 17th at the House of Blues inside Mandalay Bay. And David Foster, Catherine McPhee, December 16th and 17th at Win Encore. And there are some great comedy shows coming to Las Vegas in December. You got Jeff Dunham, December 2nd at Planet Hollywood. Ron White, December 2nd, 3rd, 9th, 10th, 23rd, and 24th at Mirage. Adam Sandler's coming to town, December 9th and 10th at the Cosmopolitan. Steve Trevino, December 1st, 8th at Mirage. Jim Gaffigan, December 7th, 9th, 10th at the Win Encore. Hot bucket! Ray Romano, David Spade, December 16th, 17th at Mirage. Gabrielle Iglesias. ACS December 27th, 29th, 30th at Mirage, and John Lovitz December 26th through the 28th at Tropicana. So if you're not going to be in Las Vegas for New Year's Eve and still want to be front and center with all the action, be sure to join us right here on YouTube as we'll be going live for our third annual live stream from the Las Vegas Strip on New Year's Eve. Hey, if you have some tips or suggestions you think others coming to Las Vegas during the month of December might enjoy, leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you continue getting Getting some of the best Las Vegas content. Oh, and if you want to check out some really fun attractions during your visit to Las Vegas, 
that no one's really talking about. Well, check these out right here. All right, well, wait a second while you click that right there. Just click that video right there. All right, y'all, and we'll see you in the next one.